Hello everyone and welcome back to some more SBC or squad building challenge tutorials. Today we are completing the let's move forward which to be honest is a very easy set of squad building challenges compared to the previous two. This one all you need to do is exchange some teams of bronze players and as a reward the game's going to give you some gold players to replace them to improve your team. So let's head in. The first one is all about defense so we're going to go in there. Just throw three bronze players. I don't even know if they actually need to be in the correct position, to be honest, but I've thrown three bronze centre-backs in there. There's no links, no chemistry, so I won't worry too much about that. Um, and by doing that, we've got enough to complete. And this is going to give us a defensive player that we can use. And it's a, it's a max 80 overall, so it's not going to be fantastic, but, you know, it's going to be useful. Uh, we've got no rares, so we're just going to use um, one of the players that we think is going to be the best for us. That's Italian League. We've got the Spanish, English, French. Um, we're going to go for the... I quite like the look of this guy, actually, from the uh, French League. So we're going to take him, Alvaro. Uh, if you want to min-max things, you can take the highest rated um, because that player, of course, will be um, more useful in future squad building challenges. But if there's a player there you want, then go for it. Uh, again, here we just need to put three players in the midfield positions. Uh, I've managed to use two that are in the incorrect position slightly, but it doesn't really matter. And there's a link between the two, which I didn't do on purpose, it just happened. So, again, that doesn't really matter. You don't need it. You need a maximum chemistry of eight, and we've got 23, and so we'll get rid of those. Remember, as I said in the previous couple of videos, you do lose all the players that you put into these, so do not use your strongest players. That is a big rule. Do not use your strongest players. Use the players you want to get rid of or you no longer need. Right, from the midfield position, again, I don't really rate any of these players, to be honest with you. Um, we've got Italian, French, it's, again, it's one from every league, isn't it? We're going to go with the French league again, um, with Savanier. And then finally, we've got the attacking one. So again, it's just three players in the attacking positions. This time, you can use the left wings and right wings rather than the left forward and right forward. You don't need the extra chemistry. Again, I've accidentally linked two players up. I didn't mean to, it just happened. They're two of the worst players I have that I wanted to get rid of. Um, but you don't need to do that. Just put three players in the position. We'll cash this in. And there we go. We get ourselves the... Uh, oh, we actually got a trophy for completing the squad building curriculum. So these are more the tutorial squad building challenges, and they sort of teach you how to do them in the future. Oh, we get a goalkeeper and a striker. So striker-wise... Okay. Um, got French League 1. I mean, Moise Keane looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, but we already have a pretty strong striking force in our Italian team. So we're going to go with... Let's just go with a French guy again. Why not? And then goalkeeper-wise, up to 80 rated again. And not really good ones here at all. I'm going to go with the French League again. I feel like the French... Oh, that's actually a duplicate. Nice of the game to tell me. It might have told me. I just didn't pay attention, but that's, that's fine. Uh, the French League is quite a cheap one to do early on, so it's definitely worth it. Right. So those are all the foundation ones completed. Well, it's not actually... Um, we still have League and Nation Basic, Hybrid Leagues, Hybrid Nation, Hybrid Nation and League. So there are uh, these are basically going to take you into a lot more advanced. And we will go through all of these as well, so make sure you're subscribed and you've liked the video. And later on in this playlist, we will go through these if you do need the help. Uh, these are a lot more tricky and it will take a lot more of a sort of puzzle to sort of complete them. But as you can see, they're worth it. This one's a mixed player pack. This one's a rare mega pack, which is huge. That is a really, really good pack. This one is also a rare mega pack as well. So some really, really good rewards you are going to get from completing these. So we'll call that it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, hit the like, the subscribe, all the other good stuff. And make sure that you're sticking around for more help on your squad building challenges. Good night. Bye-bye.